your question to understand initiation is highly appreciable initiation in sanskrit is called diksha and what is the meaning of diksha is di is for divya bhav and cha means chalan what is divya bhav in english divya bhav is feeling the godly energy in us feeling the unconditional love in us and chalan means removal of negative energy and that is what diksha is diksha is a process in which guru provides you source energy present in him because uh, when source and a person becomes one then only completeness is attained and when completeness is attained source energy is available to guru to in in finite form before then that it was always available in finite form in if you give energy to somebody it goes away from you if you give blessing to someone those blessings takes away energy from you and give it to somebody else only after you have attained the completeness you get access to infinite energy and then blessing is allowed then you can give the source energy to somebody and then only you are allowed to give diksha so diksha is is transformation in you with the help of source energy given to you with with words with mantras with touch and with chakras establishing these are four five methods of providing initiation and usual method of providing initiation is <coughs> giving the mantra and giving shaktipat what this shaktipat does in you what it happens i already told you it 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 is a chalan and therefore it removes the negative energy present in us and the moment negative energy present in us is removed what happens only positive energy remains and when only positive energy remains you start converting from human to godly energy what is the difference between godly energy and human energy energies are of four types love is of four types and that snatching away everything from someone is devilish energy not giving anything only snatching away robbers daku and you know why guru is needed i can do the mantra by myself there was a question asked very beautiful question i would like to tell you that i am doing navan mantra and the language sanskrit is such a beautiful language that if you want to say i am going you can say going uh, i am am i going you can say it in any form rama gachati gachati rama 
राम गच्छति राम विद्यालय गच्छति राम गच्छति विद्यालय विद्यालय राम गच्छति यू कैन से इट इन एनी फॉर्म द मीनिंग इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज एज इन इंग्लिश इट चेंजेस दैट इफ यू से इज फर्स्ट इट बिकम्स अ क्वेश्चन इन संस्कृत मीनिंग डज नॉट चेंज एंड देन द ब्यूटिफुल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हिम वॉज कैन आई स्टैंड विचे चामुंडा है क्लिंग रिंग आए कैन आई चैंट इट इज अपोजिट डायरेक्शन आर कैन आई स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्लिंग रिंग आए रिंग आए क्लिंग मंत्राज आर नॉट रिटर्न इन संस्कृत लैंग्वेज मंत्राज केम फर्स्ट लैंग्वेज केम लेटर एंड सिंस एंशियंट लैंग्वेज वॉज संस्कृत दे गॉट Written in Sanskrit. If prevalent language at that time could have been Latin, maybe they were written in Latin. Mantras are the sound vibrations. They have different meaning than language. And why Navar Mantra is in this way? Why Ayeng Ali first? Why not Kling first? Because these three words these three mantras they are seed mantras and they represent wisdom money and physical power so mantra says wisdom must come to me first and then money power and then bahubal and when it comes to first then you go to when and that is how in today's words we are following also a child is born where he goes he doesn't go to gym where he goes he goes to school kindergarten because wisdom is needed first and then with the help of that wisdom he earns money and then he utilizes he buys things to take care of his physical body if if life goes in this manner it's positive life what happens when you start chanting kling ring ang physical power comes first you become very very brave man there is no money and there is no wisdom so what do you do whoever you see having some money if somebody has got two samosas what do you go give him a punch and snatch away both the samosas whose work is this it's a devilish work and then you realize oh my god i need some wisdom also and then you cannot have wisdom by yourself so with this money which you have snatched from others you buy some wisdom you buy some employees somebody eh so that they can write your books of accounts or something So what happens when it becomes clean ring ang you become a devil and when it is ang ring clean you become a god what do you want to become depending upon that your chant should be and navar mantra is written in sanskrit but it doesn't represent sanskrit language when i was hearing something in japanese and they, it was similar and in some one glowing so 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 sang kang chang chang lot it is same as your kujika stotra so every system every language every system has some method of receiving the energy from the universe and initiation is 
that authentic method. Diksha is that authentic method in which Guru plants in your heart chakra. Source energy. And that source energy provides Ankuran, provides a new life. And then, then you have to take care of this life. You have to provide it food. What is the food for this life? Is chanting. What is the food for this life? Is pranayama. So you start doing after initiation, after diksha, you start doing chanting, you start doing pranayamas, you start doing yogas and as you provide food to this newborn concept in you, it starts becoming bigger and bigger, it starts rising and makes you a perfect spiritual person in time to come. I wish that all of you realize and start the process and become a perfect human being in your life. Thank you.